Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing changes to directors in Thai companies. Now, the Thai, just to be clear, the Thai corporate legal system, Thai corporations, I should say, are something akin to C-Corps in the United States. They're definitely not like, for example, a lot of people come here, especially to set up an SME, and they presume that it's like an LLC or an LTD, a limited company, where it can be pretty easily just sort of set up. You can be sort of a managing member, or just a member-managed, you know, one-man band, LLC, if you will. In Thailand, there are more formalities, and directorship, as opposed to shareholdership, is one of those formalities. And when directors change, there's a number of formalities that need to occur, depending on circumstances, including possible publication of matters pertaining to that change, which need to occur to meet the formalities of Thai corporate law. So the thing to take away from this video is simply moving directors around may not be the most straightforward thing in the world. On top of it, we're dealing with this in the background, you know, uh, this is happening in the foreground with some of the restrictions still associated with COVID that we're dealing with here in Thailand within the government apparatus, which may slow things down even further than may already be required from a formality standpoint with respect to statutorily required periods of time which may need to transpire. So it's not really prudent to presume that it's just easy to go ahead and move directors or change directors on companies here in the Kingdom of Thailand.